president appointed the trustees, he told us four things, that he will do four things for us. One, he will give us a land. Two, he will appoint the architect. Three, he will establish the secretariat for us. And um, four, he will give us a seed money. And um, he has almost done everything except the seed money that it has not concluded. Initially, he, give, he gave us a seed money of $25 million. Uh, and then later, 25 million Ghana cities. And I think this is where uh, the parliamentarians have a problem with it. <laughs>
procurement and technical committee that recommended to the board of trustees and we accepted their recommendation. Uh, I wanted to throw light on that. Then when it comes to financial issue too, initially at our level, it was one Presbyterian minister who was our consultant assisting us at the finance office. Then later on, our own um, uh, pastor, Dr. Darko, who was the finance and administrative director for the Church of Pentecost for, for 19 years. He worked with three chairmen, Apostle to me, myself, and then worked also briefly with uh, Chairman Nyamiche. Uh, we requested the executive council to allow him to come and assist us. So he's also on board. So there's nothing fishy about it. We are praying that the Lord God Almighty will grant us money to be able to put it up. Amen. We thank God that this edifice has been named after uh, Apostle F.S. Safu. If you look at it, it really befits him. <laughs> when he died, the uh, general superintendent of the Ilim Pentecostal churches, uh, who was at that time Wayne Lewis, Pastor Wayne Lewis, described him as he was a big man intellectually, wisely, and physically. And he was a giant too. So if, if you look at this giant building, it really, really befits him. <laughs> Apostle Safo was the chairman of the Church of Pentecost from 1982 to 1987 when he died. He was a great and visionary leader under whose tenor the church experienced exponential growth. Pastor Safo was born on the 6th of November 19, 1932 at Obokwau in the eastern region of Ghana. He was the first of the three sons born to the late Mr. Lawrence Kwame Mensa and Elizabeth Amapokuya, both of Obokwau. Chairman Safo was educated at the English Church Mission School, Obo, where he obtained his elementary school living certificate. But he did private studies to the point that he became very, very intelligent and a scholar himself. Apostle Safu got married to Beatrice Ejabin of Obomin in November 1957. The late Apostle Safu was a man of few words and full of wisdom. He was also very time conscious, regular and punctual at keeping appointments and attending meetings. And if you take his punctuality into consideration, one time when we needed to start one convention, at the beginning of the service, he was not there. And all of us thought that there was something wrong. When I went, I allowed somebody to check up. He said there was nothing wrong. He was okay, and he joined us. But the fact that he was about 10 minutes late signified that there was something wrong. Very, very time conscious. You, only come, you always come and meet him at church, either praying or reading the Bible. And he happened to be the youngest pastor ever called in the Church of Pentecost. He was called at age 20. He was 20 years when he was called into the ministry of the Church of Pentecost. And he was the first person who muted the idea that we should establish a missions office in the Church of Pentecost. He muted that idea in 1967. If you read the minutes, you will see that. He, has been, he was a missionary in Togo for about 10 years. He also served as a general witness, uh, a general women's leader 
He also served as the president of Ghana Pentecostal Council. The Lord used him in many, many areas. For your time's sake, I would end it here. The brief thing that we said is that this building really befits Apostle F.S.A. For God bless you. Thank you.